Hello, everybody. My name is Coach underscore Armada, and welcome back to Two Friends Playing Devil May Cry 1, or whatever I choose to name this in the future. I am joined today by Rice. Rice, go ahead and say hello. What's up, everybody? And we're going to go on ahead and get... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Go ahead and give it a proper introduction. <laughs> no, we're good. Keep going. Uh, all right, so do you remember where we left off on? Yeah, sort of, maybe. Yeah, Dude. we had the staff of Hermes and everything. Yeah, I do remember this. Had the staff of Hermes, got introduced to Nightmare, uh, finished off Griffin. Um, so, what did you think about Griffin since we officially killed him last time? Griffin a punk. Griffin a punk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in between our recording sessions, I did something. I took Dante into the hyperbolic devil me crying chamber. And I see he, that. So we're going to come to Infrared. We're going to get Rolling Blaze. And let's just go ahead and get all of Alistair's moves while we're at it. So now we have 6,000 to play with. What am I getting? You are getting a blue orb and a purple orb. Okay. And that's it. That's it? We don't want another yeah, blue orb? It. I got no, enough orb. You don't need it. You don't need it. I really don't. Alright. <laughs> Mission 17, Pardon Memento. Slash away at the dragon and enter the court with the quicksilver. Okay, so since I did do a little bit of grinding, uh, obviously I'm not getting red orbs for these items that I'm breaking, because I got them the first time, because uh, I was just basically running back and forth within this mission, fighting enemies over and over again. So everything that I'm breaking, just pretend that red orbs are coming out of for me. Hooray, money! Yep. More money! Yeah. Alright, so there's not a lot going on in ah. here. Let's keep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You remember at the beginning, this stairway was blocked off, so we finally get to see what's at the very top of the stairs. And Rapunzel! We have a door with the staff of Hermes emblem on it, with a very it's, jank looking handle. It's Hermes' office. Oh no. And this is where you go to get fired. <laughs> Oh, what does this book say? It describes about evil. Evil is the darkness as well as the shadows. It exists everywhere. Be forewarned. There is light. There is where there is light. There is darkness. In darkness, no shadow can exist. What does that book say? Nothing. There's writing about the war between humanity and the underworld. There are records of many battles that were fought. There are even names of historical men listed. Is Sparta one of them? <laughs> There's a book that tells about ways to enter the underworld. Evil is a reflection of man. Thus, evil lurks inside the mirror. One with the devil quality shall bring the blue stone elixir and stand before the mirror. So that's actually telling us exactly what we're going to be doing throughout this mission, funnily enough. Okay. Alright, so now we got some, some more Mario paintings going on. So here's something that bugs me about the HD remaster, is we get to this scene, right? And you notice how when I jump in, you have those like little water ripples? Yeah. Imagine if that wasn't there. Oh, okay. And now you have what it looks like in the HD remake of this game. They removed the water ripples that make it look like you're actually like entering a liquid form. I don't know. It, it's just something that always bugs me. Anyway, let's go through that. Uh. These are frosts. You know how the, the blades you can call them xenomorphs? 
Just, yeah. Just take them, but make them ice. Hooray, ice types. So now you're gonna burn them. Of course. So they can do my inferno too. And you'll notice that every time I hit them, I'm basically getting like a half the half of the trigger. That's because these guys are kind of categorized as like the mini boss category. So they they are very strong. They do a lot of damage when they hit you, and they give you a good number of red ores when you defeat them. Cool. And we will probably be running into them a lot. Alright, so we got some puppets in this room. Got a fetish right now. And when I was grinding off screen, this was essentially what I was doing. I was just traveling back and forth, fighting the puppets, and then going back into the other area to fight the frost. I see. Well, while you can't really, like, mission track in this game like you can in the other ones, uh, what you can do is take advantage of the fact that every new room spawns new enemies, right? Yep. So, essentially, as long as you, like, go through a certain point in the mission, pause, save game, and then exit, it'll keep everything that you gain, but you'll be put back into the game of the mission when you start again next time. Oh. Uh-huh. There we go. Hold on, I gotta show this shotgun wheeler how it's done, because I was just pitiful. Look, step one. See? Let me do it again. See? It's like that. Ain't that right, finish. So, so left foot first? Yes, always left foot first. The shotgun doesn't do as much damage if you do the right foot first. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. This is a fireball. Give me a second. Give me a second. See, that's how you do a fireball. Oh, yeah. Let me just go ahead and freaking demon more. Like, I'm... Oh, shit. I missed the reference. Oh, like I'm a Daedric in freaking Oblivion. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we have this door that has a ramp on it. The door won't open. There's a round hole in the center. Show the gym with the moonlight. Alright, so we're looking for a gym with the moonlight, apparently. I think it's asking you to push your pants down. The wrong moon. Oh. <laughs> So, let's come all the way back here and uh, enter this door. And you remember in the very beginning there was a mission description about fighting a dragon? Yeah. Is it Spyro? Oh, it's not Spyro. No, I can't get close to it. A strange power has confronted me. I've got to find a way to defeat this dragon. Look, I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's my screenshot. There it is right there. Beautiful. Uh, Alright, so, uh, let's look at this. There's something written. The confronter of the path, Pluto's dragon. Prov- prove your bravery with your sword, and the dragon will fall on its own flame. But I already did that. I tried to go up and slash it, and it didn't work. Okay, so enough playing around, I'm just going to tell you what it's affecting you. You remember when I said that Phantom had an additional mechanic that I wasn't taking advantage of because the game properly introduces it to you later? Right. So what they want you to do here is use your sword to reflect the fireball back at it. It's so, a gas. So, oh, too early. So, while you're fighting Phantom and he shoots a fireball at you, you can actually shoot his fireball back at him for a pretty decent amount of damage. Cool. So we do that three times. We do that three times. Five times. Three times. Five times. And we kill him. Hooray. And now we get this thing that comes up. Okay, and we have a crank. Alright, 
now. So now we must illuminate the bat signal. So, with this thing, you would expect to just hold the analog left to right and not Dante will turn it automatically. No. You actually have to rotate the analog stick just as Dante is rotating the crank. And if you rotate the analog stick faster, he will move faster. So, I don't know if you've ever played Mario Party, but just picture a Mario Party game and that's what you gotta do. Alright. And now we have created the orb with moonlight, and uh, so a bit of a confession. If you stand right here, I'll take a two step forward in just a second. You actually get a blue orb, but because I grinded earlier, I just grabbed the blue orb out of habit, not thinking about it, and it saved me picking up the blue orb. So, everybody just pretend this yellow orb I'm about to get. Oh, is it not going to do it? It might not do it. Okay, so it's not going to do it, but just know that if you come right here, there is a blue orb. Oh, so right. jump up on the right, you stand like right here, one drops, and then you get two out of four that I got over there on the screen. Okay. So, you will notice that there are those blue platforms that only appear when lightning strikes. All right. So the game wants you to use these invisible platforms to jump all the way over there, and yeah, let's not do that. Since we have our double jump, we're just going to run over here and... Oh. We're just going to run over here and... There we go. Five times, Jeff. Five times. <laughs> and now we have the Quicksilver. A crystal ball filled with mercury. Um, I don't think you get mercury from moonlight, but okay. The Mercury has linear powers that will open sealed doors. All right, so we got our we got our yeah. blue, blue light gem. We kill the dragon. We got an imaginary blue orb. We got more puppets. Puppets. Ah. <laughs> We gotta kill all the puppets. on a random number out there. If that's the case, then 32. Oh, what's up, buddy? Actually, I need full level trigger for the next room. For no apparent reason. Alright, you ready to see what's behind the door of the ram? Door number one. Door will open, use a moon gem, use Quicksilver, yes. Let's no. Go. Oh, right. I wanted to take that Mercury home and make a hat with it. Well, it, it's a little too late. I don't think I can go back and take it out now. Damn. Yeah, look at the little blind that's above there. Neat. There's a throne where the castleman must have sat to watch over his little celebrations and his coral wings. Alright, well, let's... No, oh, look at this. Oh, look, it's a dad. Close. I like that. She, you serve moonness. <laughs> He's powering up everyone. 
He's going Super Saiyan. You know, I wasn't gonna make the joke, so I'm glad you did. Oh man. He looks like me, but with his hair slipped back. Well, I'm not done. He came out of a mirror. Of course, he's gonna look just like him. Alright, so now we got Nella Angelo round three. And he follows a lot of the same patterns as he did before. So we kind of know this song and dance, but this time he'll do some different things as we fight him. Uh, right now we're, we're just kind of clashing some swords at the moment. It's going to take me hours to fix this edge. <laughs> I need you to go. He might kill me. Almost, I'm on one hit. I can't believe he's going to do it the entire time. He did it all against me while we were grinding. Oh, there he goes. Okay, there's the last thing. So, just like the Barrage we all know and love, he shoots so many swords at you. During this version of the fight and this version of the fight only. I cast Swords of Revealing Light. But now I can't attack for three turns. Well, that's why you died. Well, but you, you know, <laughs> I, I was trying to keep him alive so I could show off his mechanics, okay? You want to see me really bully him? Okay, hold on. We're going to skip through this because we saw it the first time. I can't jump, I'm trying to jump away. Three? Yeah, you can easily get stunned by him. Dawn of the third run. The third run. It's alright. It's a warm up chat. We just started. I mean, you're not wrong. Exactly. Gotta let them know. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
This is a cutscene where we find out that this has been Virgil the entire time. A dead brother who's been dead for 20 years. Now, the reason I'm spoiling that is because this death scene is canonically, within the lore, the last time we see Virgil until DMC5. Wow. Yep. Everywhere else is either just, like, special bonus stuff for playthroughs, or the prequel, which is Devil May Cry 3. And gotcha. Virgin, it's done to me. Happy birthday. Wow! I want chocolate! I swear, when I was a kid, when I heard that line growing up, I swore they were both saying chocolate. Yeah. Is that not what they said? No, they say lock it. Oh. Like the necklace. Gotcha. Oh no, Trish was a demon who betrayed us the entire time. Who could have ever seen that coming? She you know, wasn't present during any of our fights. You know? Apparently I spent an hour and 30 on this mission. Uh, Hyperbolic time chamber be like that. Yo. Alright. So, that was the last that we will see of Noah Angela. He is officially gone. 